I hope you're ready for the shit show, because that's what we're here for. That is what this show is called, by the way. Here you go! So, South Korean actors and Netflix originals want better pay. The company refuses to meet with their union. Surprise, surprise. So it's the exact same thing we've been seeing, but this is now talking- We are now talking an international strike, if that's what happens. Oh my god, that's huge! Are you kidding me? An international labor strike? That's so exciting! <laughs> now, okay, now- Keeping in mind, the strikes are, like, a pressure, and they are difficult, and they, it's, it's not easy to do, so I do not- I, I can, like, I can't wait for, like, streamers to start striking, too. That's gonna be- mm. Unionized streamers! <laughs> I am absolutely here for it. I'm- every second, I'm pl- you can go, strike, be a union. As news of the S-A-G-A-F-T-R-A -A -A strike broke in mid-July, uh, Song Chang-Gon, a 50 uh, please forgive my pronunciation, I apologize. 51-year-old actor and current president of the Korea Broadcasting Actors Union was still waiting to hear back from Netflix, a company that was proving uh, to be difficult to get a hold of. Netflix? Difficult? No. The phone number for South Korea office was unlisted on the usual websites, but several months earlier, Song had asked around until he finally managed to obtain the personal number of a Netflix Korea executive, unhappy with the fact that the company didn't pay its South Korean actors residuals. It's the same shit. Residuals are a form of royalty paid to ta uh, credited talent when a show is reused after the first airing. He had several uh, calls and text messages. Oh, he had left several calls and text messages. The situation struck him as absurd. Yes, that is a that is a reasonable response. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Netflix has a, a vast presence in South Korea, yet at times it felt to him as though the company, which outsource, uh, outsources all of its production to local studios, wielded its influence from behind a curtain. What? Monopolizing? What? Anti-capitalism? What? No. Quote, one of their first priorities when entering the local market should be to establish some channel of communications with groups like us, Song said. But there's no answer at all. <gasps> Le gasp. The Actors Union echoing similar concerns from South Korean writers hmm, and production workers says that Netflix has long profited from a system that underpays supporting actors and that better compensation is long overdue. A Netflix spokesman declined to say whether the company would meet the union. Oh, really? <laughs> Netflix spokespeople declining to say whether a company would meet with a union or not? Who the funk? In a written statement, the company said it follows all local laws and regulations and, and, and that a, as a streaming service and not a broadcaster, it is not required to pay residuals. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, but we're not breaking the law though. Well, I guess it's time to change the law. Like. <laughs> Whatever happened to companies acting in good faith? Was that ever a thing? I've heard, like, folklore tales about once upon a time companies would, like, build products and have, like, good customer relationship and their, their products would, like, be built to last and customer service was something to be, like, prided and lauded as a company that you'd, like, you would, your problems would be fixed or they would replace something for you if it, if it broke. Was that, was that a, was all just, was that just a fairy tale? Was that just all fake news? Like, I, I feel like I've heard of this existing, but I don't feel like I've ever experienced it. When Netflix arrived in South Korea in 2016, Song and his colleagues at the Korea Broadcasting Performers Rights Association, the union's partner organization that collects and distributes residuals, had held off on approaching the streamer. Quote, a precondition for that conversation about residuals when Netflix business, uh, was Netflix's business successfully taking off here, said Kim Joo-ho. 
again, I, please forgive my pronunciation, Secretary General in the Rights of Association. Okay, so they basically said, hey, listen, you get free reign here, and we're going to make sure that you're successful. Once you're successful, we will establish whether or ASSN <laughs> ass ninjas. You know what? I like that terminology better. We're going to adopt that here. Basically, Netflix has to be successful before it can pay residuals. So to ensure the success of a company, they were like, okay, we'll hold that conversation off. If you are successful, then we will come to the table about this. And now Netflix is like, what do you mean? We don't have to come to the table about this. It's clear that the precondition has been met and more. Netflix, a $160 billion company, owes at least some of its success to its South Korean originals like Squid Game, which remains its most watched series. The streamer, there's also a ton of Korean drama on Netflix, like a buttload. The streamer recently announced that it would invest an additional $1.5 sorry, $2.5 billion to acquire additional Korean content over the next several years. Quote, Netflix has made a lot of money from South Korean content, Kim said, and it's now time to meet. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's generous. They let them make this ridiculous amount of money before meeting, and they probably could have done so years earlier. Union officials have been keeping a close eye on the developments in Hollywood. Besieged by the largest worker strike there in in 60 years, Netflix probably does not want another labor dispute on its hands, let alone in a market that has been reliable in large part because labor costs can be kept low. And thanks to its outsourcing model, Netflix is not legally classified as an employer in South Korea, and it doesn't have to bargain with unions. Uh-oh. Though Korean television networks have, in have increasingly outsourced much of their production in the same way, they have continued to engage with the actors union and continue to pay residuals. Even local streamers like TVing or Wave, despite being deep in the red and trailed by consistent bankruptcy rumors, have met with the Rights Association to address the issue. Oh, go figure. Netflix makes use of the co uh, the country's broadcasting and content infrastructure just as much as anyone else, said Yu Min Suk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right again. I apologize. On top of that, th then like you, you makes a really good point. Like a really really good point. You the companies are utilizing the infrastructure, the broadcasting and content infrastructure the same way like. Rogers and Bell utilize the infrastructure or the same way like any company utilizes roads and lights and traffic and like the fire department. It's all like they utilize the infrastructure. That's the point of taxes. Pay your fair share of taxes so that capitalism can work and function properly. Jesus Christ. Um, policy director at the Actors Union, quote, that's why we're saying they have an obligation to meet with us. Far from simply being another player on the field in South Korea, Netflix is the most influential creative force in the business. Monopolizing? Go figure. Quote, the history of South Korea industry can be divided, uh, divided into before Netflix and after Netflix, said an executive at television uh, network Moonwa Broadcasting Corp. Again, I'm you know, I'm gonna stop apologizing for my pronunciation and just do a blanket apology, I don't speak Korean. Or MBC, who requested anonymity because he wasn't authorized to speak to the media. Quote, they brought in huge budgets and snapped up all the big name actors and writers and directors. Once a drama powerhouse, it, uh, his company has recently found itself subordinated to the position of outsourced Netflix supplier. Ew! It, so Netflix basically came in from the outside through, with a bunch of additional money, pumped it full of money to take over everything, and is now like this overlord of North Korean uh, production. Ew. Ew! It was an MBC producer given special permission to take outside work who created the Netflix hit Physical 100, a reality show that held a top 10 spot in the streamer's non-English leaderboard for six weeks earlier this year. It's really good. Quote, compared, uh, compared to how well it did, we sold it for peanuts, the executive said. 
At one internal meeting, opinions had been split about the offer in which NBC would hand over all the intellectual property to Netflix for a one-time payout of a few million dollars. But Netflix's name holds a special cachet. And yeah, imprimatur of global consumability. Management decided that if it is distributed through Netflix, we are, we're we're not walking away with nothing, the executive said. We're basically gave up profit for exposure. Netflix is paying people in fucking exposure. I was waiting for that line. God damn it. I can't. I cannot with this. This is, to me, this is indicative of not just poor business practice. This is indicative of business failure like you are failing if you cannot pay people you are failing as a company and why should anybody support you at all in any capacity song acknowledges that plenty of good has come from netflix too the streamers production budgets low by u.s standards but large by korean ones have opened up a golden age of prestige television in the country popularizing science fiction and other genres that had previously been too expensive and risky to put on network television the company has created jobs and given Korean content an unprecedented global outlet. That's fair, but is it though? It's worthy to acknowledge. For the most part, actors, writers, and directors are eager to work with a streamer, given that a Netflix appearance is a unique opportunity to uh, burnish one's personal brand. The problem is, in quotes, that Netflix's big production budgets aren't evenly distributed. Oh, go figure. Yay! The problem is that Netflix's big production budgets aren't evenly distributed. Most of this money goes to the star actors or big name screenwriters, Song said. For the majority of most of supporting actors, wages have stagnated or effectively decreased. Indeed, the Netflix-led uh, led shift uh, toward streaming has been a gold rush for top talent, even without residuals. A-listers negotiate their own deals and oft-times uh, treat any foregone residuals as baked into their one-time payday, which industry insiders estimate have now broken $400,000 an episode, about on par with the cast of HBO's Succession. On the opposite end of the spectrum, per episode rates for supporting actors who receive neither residuals nor premiums start at about $300. Yikes. These rates are based on networks, television pay scales negotiated by the Actors Union before the takeover uh, by streaming. But because Netflix shows have far shorter seasons than the typical Korean network drama, the 16 episode miniseries was once the television standard. Total payouts are much smaller, according to the union. In addition, Song said Netflix, uh, shooting a Netflix episode often takes far longer than one or two days that were typical for Korean network shows. Quote, shoots for Netflix originals, especially genres like zombie or creature features, are far more labor intensive. He said actors are still expected to show up for however many shoots it takes to film one episode without enough additional compensation. That's ridiculous. If you're asking people to do more work, then you should be paying them for the additional work. This is basic, like, this is one to one. This is one plus one equals two. Like, really. Some companies will bump up the episode fee if shooting exceeds three days, according to one producer of a recent uh, original Netflix drama who, fearful of upsetting business relationships, spoke on the condition that she not be identified. I w you know what is kind of a problem? The fact that nobody wants to talk about this without saying who they are. Like, it, does that not come off as, like, suspicious to you? In the case of an actor who usu who's usually paid $300, that would be upped and to around $450, she said. Still, in one complaint song recently received from a supporting actor who auditioned for a Netflix original series, the production company asked for up to 15 shoots for a single episode, while offering only an increase so small it essentially amounted to several days of unpaid work. And because actors do not receive any per diems for food, transportation, or lodging, Song said that many on the lower end of the pay range are still barely getting by thanks to an out-of-pocket expenses accumulated over multiple shoots. That's so bullshit! 
And it's how can any of these companies claim that they're making any kind of profit if they're not capable of maintaining their own, like, employee standards or any employee standards? In its statement, Netflix said that expenses such as meal or overnight allowances are written into their production budgets, but that these are ultimately overseen by the production company. Quote, we ensure supporting actors are compensated at or above local wage standards, and we work closely with our production partners to ensure all parties are committed to the fair compensation of treatments and actors, Netflix said. In the most, our lawyers wrote this statement for us for the media. <laughs> Low labor costs, at least for now, have cushioned South Korea actors from another bane at the center of the, uh, the SAG AFTRA AFTRA strike. The use of artificial intelligence actors. Ew, 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 ew. Substituting such digital twins for human actors is already happening, though in more limited situations than SAG AFTRA's worst case scenario, in which twins can be animated with such precision that they can entirely replace humans. On Black Knight, a South Korean sci-fi series that Netflix released in May, a local virtual reality company called Replica scanned 10 of the main cast members to create digital twins that were used for high-risk action scenes or to retroactively insert a key actor in a scene. While the technology is still too costly for things like close-ups, the ultimate goal, said Chief Strategist Officer Shane Jean is uh, developing it further to replace human actors affordably. The scenario, he added, would still depend on a framework of informed consent and fair compensation for the use of actors' likenesses. Quote, But it will be a very long, very, very long time until that day comes in South Korea, Jean said. Quote, The cost of hiring human actors here is much too cheap for that. For voice actors, uh, prospects are far more immediate and dire. Unlike Hollywood, where sag after us has said that its voice actors are protected by union contracts provisions that limit the reuse of recorded performances for artificial intelligence purposes, no such agreement is in place in South Korea. The union says that its members who have worked on Netflix voiceovers, which are also outsourced to local studios, report that contract signings are hurriedly carried out on site in a way that seems intended to sidestep matters of consent. Oh, nothing like a little bit of predatory contractual rush signings. <laughs> Add it to Netflix repertoire. Quote, all the Netflix contracts were really long and they were all in English. Why? Why would they be in English? You're a... Bruh! Are you serious? Netflix can't translate that shit? Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Especially when, like, you should be able to, like, copy-paste it for the most part? Ugh, said one voice actor who requested am anonymity for fear of losing work. Oh my god, that's three in one article! Jesus Christ! Quote, there was never enough time to read through it carefully, and if I did object to something, it would just mean that I wouldn't be taking the job. <sighs> this is so bad. The only explanation the employees would give uh, her as they flipped through the pages, she said, was that all of her rights were being transferred away. Quote, there's huge fear that if a big company like, like Netflix sets a precedent by deciding to go through with AI voice actors, our jobs could just vanish overnight, she said. In April, the New York Times reported that, quote, a recent Netflix contract sought to grant the company free use of a simulation of a, an actor's voice, quote, by all technologies and processes now known or hereafter developed throughout the universe and in perpetuity. Are you fucking kidding me? Guys, uh, guys. Netflix is evil. I, I, uh, I don't... <laughs> did you, did Dr. Evil write this? <laughs> it's, what the fuck? This is like, this is like twirly mustache joke villain. Like, what the actual shit? Like, I knew they were bad, but I didn't realize they were this bad. 
Hey, listen, I... God, I wish I had a pirate hat, because I feel like it's about time to put that sucker back on. The voice actor believes the contract she signed said more or less the same, but to this day she has been unable to personally verify this because her requests for her own copy were rebuffed by a third-party studio. Union officials say they also have been... Oh, I don't know this word. What is this word? Hold on. Stymie. Prevent or hinder the progress of. Cool. I learned a new word today. How could they not be obligated to give you your own contract? That's absurd. Sounds like a Sea Org contract. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh my god. That would not surprise me if Netflix are a Scientology spinoff. <laughs> They're just starting their cult in South Korea, or sorry, in, yeah, in South Korea, like, what the fuck? Um, quote, I still haven't been able to see a Netflix contract with my own eyes, said Choi Jae-ho, again, I apologize for my pronunciation, Secretary General of the Voice Actor Chapter, how could the- how is this fucking possible? In its statement to the Los Angeles Times, Netflix said that although English contracts are the standard across their markets, the company is not aware of any instance in which signed contracts were withheld from voice actors who signed them. Oh, we don't know that that happened. It only happened to us. We are the only ones doing it. A spokesperson for... You know, you know Korea... Again. <laughs> The local partner that handles most of Netflix's voiceover work here said that a Korean version of the contract is provided whenever requested and that the company is, quote, working on an updated format that includes both Korean and English simultaneously throughout the contract for ease of reference. Then why don't these people have fucking contracts? You should just be able to call them up and give it to them then. Meanwhile, Song and Kim have kept themselves busy preparing for the meeting with Netflix that they will be they believe will eventually come. Yeah, it that's fair. It has to happen eventually. They have poured over SAG AFTRA's residual structure, which determines an actor's residuals payout from several factors, such as the number of subscribers of the streamer airing the show. The union has plans to propose a new wage scale that will impose minimums based on a production's total budget. Quote, but for now, our only request to Netflix is that South Korean performers be given the same residual terms that U.S. actors are getting under SAG-AFTRA agreements, Kim said. Steeped in the new realities of global streaming, in which foreign content is serving as a buffer for Netflix against the strikes in Hollywood... True? The union is also contemplating the larger implications of the fight. Quote, there's undoubtedly common ground that can be found under SAG-AFTRA, Song said. It sh would be helpful uh, for similar organizations representing actors around the world to engage with one another to build up a sense of solidarity. I think that's important. Global strikes. Global strikes. Global strikes. <laughs> I am here for it. Burn it to the ground. He mulled over whether to write a message of support. Maybe, Kim suggested, they could even fly to Hollywood and deliver the greeting in person, and while they're at it, knock on Netflix's door. I like Kim. We stand Kim. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I am so unbelievably here for this. Good for them. Uh, get together. I am with you every step of the way. I go, oh my god! <laughs> Whoo! Amazing. Amazing. I am a fan. I am here for it. More power to the people. <laughs>